collection development. Money smart week at your library. Usability issues. Promoting preservation week. TMF's project is working from a program that already exists. It was called Libraries Build Communities. Uh, it started in 2006, um, an annual volunteer day. So our charge was to take that project and to expand it to anytime, anywhere. And I think we kind of decided what we want to do is to um, is to kind of start it at the, the state chapter level and kind of do some pilots there. Our project was to create a survey to see what um, libraries needs were for money smart week. Promotions uh, would be the big thing for next year. So if you're planning on doing money smart week in your library, um, really work on promoting the heck out of your programs. Libraries are notorious for having absolutely horrendous front ends to these very, very expensive databases and all these catalogs and things. So one of our primary goals was to take a look at those front ends and see how are they really serving people? Are they usable for people? We were given the task to provide a visual tool of all the deadlines in ALA. It currently lives at jaguars.andromedayelton.com. If they had an event um, to help promote preservation in any form at their library, then it was beneficial. You know, there were some that were hands-on, and there were some that were more just informational, and I think that no matter what it is, in terms of getting the public to know about how to preserve their materials for the future, that that will help our society as a whole. Especially in public and school libraries, uh, without the gaming aspect of their programs, a lot of people would not even meet together, like between a nerd and a jock. They typically wouldn't interact with each other, but once you put gaming uh, uh, into, the, into the mix, they start talking, become best of friends.